The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Martin. All right, folks, welcome on here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. I am your host, Daryl Martin. Make sure you check us out over on TFNN.com. <coughs> Pardon me there. And uh, let's, uh, if you want to give me a call, you have any questions about stocks, futures, forks, or options, you can reach me right here at 1 877 927 6648. Again, that's 1 877 927 6648. Of course, also, if you have questions about binaries and spreads, let me know. Had a couple great trades on this morning. Some wild, insane volatility going on with the uh, non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate both coming out this morning. We saw gold. I mean, it just flew down. And then we go over and we saw, you know, uh, the markets flew up, flew down, did a bounce back. And then gold at the same time, after it flew down, a full one and a half deviations flew on all the way back up. And uh, so, just, you know, a lot of volatility, which is great, um, as long as, you know, you have the, you know, the right way to trade it. So you want to be able to trade it in a way where you can take advantage um, of, you know, anything that's going on with that. So let me pull up a couple charts. We'll go through a little bit on here. And uh, what I want to let you know, too, is uh, before we get started, just so you know how to take advantage of this kind of volatility, because like I said, we had a lot of volatility this morning that you could have taken advantage of, is, you know, this volatility, you can either embrace it or be scared of it. And if you don't have something going on in your trading plan that limits your risk, you should be afraid of this kind of volatility. I mean, to trade gold, and I mean, if we look at this right here, we see gold moving, you know, I mean, just a massive price level down. I mean, we had right before the news announcement there, our uh, closest price was 1570 what, eight? And we went down right to a low of 1563. Point two, uh, I mean that's a about a seventeen hundred dollar move. I mean that's just a massive, massive move. And uh, again, just to get the exact amount for you, we got fifteen. Let's see, here we go, seventy eight. And uh, so yeah, I mean that's you know then you get down to fifteen, you know sixty. Get the exact low right there, fifteen sixty point four. And uh, so that's almost eighteen points. That should be about an eighteen hundred dollar move on just one single contract down, and then it flew up even higher. I mean, over $2,000 move up on gold. And, uh, you know, I love trading gold. I like trading it, but I want to make sure I trade it in a way where I can't get killed on it. And so, of course, what do I do? I trade in Nadex. And uh, I was ready for this morning's gold report. We had uh, the news announcements come out. We'll go over those in a little bit. But to let you know, you know, how we even got access to this, make sure you hop on over to our website over at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can listen to us anywhere online in the world at tfnn.mobi as well. And you can listen to us on Tiger TV and watch the screens as we're, you know, as we're walking through these things with nine hours of live market radio every day. And uh, what you'll want to do is right here, you're seeing a banner. It's going to say Nadex. And just click on Nadex. And then to, to try this out, go to our products and click on Demo Account. Once you've done that, fill in your username, first name, last name, phone number, and email address. I want you to do that right now. Hop on to TFNN.com, click on the Nadex banner, click on our products and demo account, and at least get a demo. It's free. It takes about 15 seconds. And uh, the next time a news report comes out, you can trade it. And uh, you can strangle it with what's called binaries, or you can straddle it with the spreads. And then make sure you log in. You know, As soon as you do that, get in there, log right into your account, and log into your demo. And now to get a live account, you know, how much does it cost? You know, this is mainly a day trading vehicle. So uh, there are weekly ones on there too as well. But a lot of times you're hopping in. I mean, I hop in for 30 minutes or, you know, an hour half the time. Um, and you click on create account. You get a live account. It's only $100 to fund a live account. No day trading restrictions. Um, you know, and you can check out the taxes stuff. But, I mean, it basically falls under, you know, futures. So that's just a pretty cool benefit on taxes. And uh, But click on start right there. Fill out all the information. And uh, it takes about five minutes to go from start to funded. And you can hop in there and you can place some you know, trades as little as $10, 20 30 $40. And uh, so you can actually place a few trades with $100. Uh, 
Now, when you're trading on there, you know, you want to have a realistic expectation of how you're trading and everything else. And so I go into more of that over here in the diagnostic box spread analyzer. I post what's called the deviation levels. We post these every night at 7.15. So we had them for gold. And right up here at the top, you would have found gold. And it told you exactly, you know, where should you expect, where should you be tightening stops? What points would you expect gold to possibly bounce off of? And that's why you tighten stops at those levels, because that's maybe where gold is going to bounce. And um, it's going to be what, you know, you could call them pivot levels, except for these levels don't use pivot formulas. So the formulas that are based on, you know, yesterday's high and low and close and today's open, and, you know, different things like that. It's not historical information like pivot levels are. It's the market's expectation. Because we use implied volatility. Implied means expected. Volatility means movement. Well, how do we use implied volatility? How do we use the expected movement? Well, we take that implied volatility out of, say, like the gold futures options. We take up to 16 different options. We pull the implied volatility out of them. We then make our own volatility index, sort of like a GVX, but we use it for that day. And then we tie it into a deviation formula for the day. And if you're like, what is a deviation? Well, I mean, you probably heard of the bell curve before, you know? And so it's the, it's the bell curve. It's how far, it's, it's actually um, statistics. Now, I've never taken a statistic class myself. I just use them all the time. Um, so it's not so much how to do them, it's how to use them. But uh, I do have the formulas I was taught. And um, go in and one deviation means 68% of expected movement. Two deviations is around 97% of expected movement. Three deviations is like 99.3 of expected movement, meaning we don't expect it to go further than that. Well, if I know that about 70% of the time the market's going to stay within a deviation, then I'm probably not going to be shooting for, you know, breaks out of one deviation on most days. And um, if it goes up half, there's a good chance it may go, you know, down to negative half. That would be, still be a full deviation. I can use all this information to my advantage. But the biggest thing is so I don't have these false expectations of how far it's going to go, but I do have some real, realistic expectations of how far it can actually move. And I have an objective, and that's big, objective, not subjective. I mean, it's in black and white method to determine where is the market going to move to so I can know how to let my profits run. So I can trail my stops, not too tight and not too close. And in doing that, it gives me a huge advantage. And so you can hop on over there, grab that, get your two-week free trial to that, and then make sure you also... In addition to you know everything else, is we have the free live workshop coming up in San Mateo next week. And I uh, look forward to seeing a lot of you out there. We've had some really cool conferences out um, in Denver and in Tampa. And uh, so, you know, we're just sort of going across the country. So I started over on the West Coast and, uh, you know, went a little bit mountain time, went going on over and heading out to the Pacific Coast now. And then uh, we're going to knock out California and uh, so get the East Coast. And so, you know, coast to coast, just trying to make sure everybody knows about Nadex, how to trade it. Hop on here, register. It's free to attend, uh, but you do need to register. So make sure you register right now or else we may not have a spot for you. And also make sure that if you are registering, that you are going to be able to attend. It's a live event. We're going to be reserving a seat for you, okay? And Dan Cook from Nadex is going to be there. And so I think that will be uh, just a huge benefit. Um, you'll be able to actually meet you know, a representative from Nadex. And uh, let me zoom in on this, make it a little bit easier for you to see. There we go. And uh, Dan Cook from Nadex will be right in. Tommy O'Brien is going to be talking about identifying trends. And I'm going to go into binaries, and I'm going to go into spreads on Nadex. I'm also going to go into how I use my deviation levels to be able to trade Nadex effectively. And then um, Tom's going to come back. He's going to talk about setting up the trade. So once we put all these pieces together, how do we set up our trade? And then we're going to wrap up together and do a risk and money management training, teaching you how to manage your risk, but also how to manage your profit. And so that's part of where the deviations come in, is how to manage that profit. So that way, you know, you have a, you know, you want to have a one-to-one risk-reward ratio or better. Meaning if I, if every dollar at risk, I want to be able to at least make a dollar. And then, um, you know, Dan's going to wrap up for us, but we're going to do a lot of things. We're giving away, you know, over $2,000 in prizes. We're giving away silver. We're giving away, you know, subscriptions. We're giving away books. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. But I uh, hope to see a bunch of you out there. And now let's go ahead and let's check out the market and uh, do a quick market wrap for you. We got the S&P up five points with the NASDAQ up three right now. The Russell is currently at flat at the moment. Or not flat, wait a minute, that's not a right reading. One second. Let's see if we can get that updated. There we go. 
All right. So uh, we got the Russell uh, up five right now. We have the Dow is up 49. We got gold is up a buck. We got silver up, uh, let's see here. Wow, 3%. So pretty massive move right there on silver. And uh, we got uh, copper uh, moving pretty good there. We got oil is down 24 cents on the day. We have corn up $9. We got soybeans up 4 and we had the euro dollar uh, is down 128 pips, getting slammed after last night. And uh, we'll be going into all those announcements that came out. We'll go into the pound dollar, 64 pips. We got uh, Aussie dollar right here is down 41 pips. We got the euro yen down nine pips. So the pound yen is up 89. We got the US yen is up 82. The US Canadian is down three. And the US franc is up, what, 93? Is that right? Yeah, 93 Pips. So a massive, massive move over there on the U.S. franc. And let's walk into our fundamentals. Let's check out what came out and, uh, you know, what could we have taken advantage of along the way? Well, last night, um, you had a bunch of yen reports coming out, their current account, things like that. And so that obviously led to some volatility in the yen uh, that we were able to take advantage of. It moved up a full one and a half deviations before pulling back right now. And I uh, haven't looked at it again yet, but I think it uh, pulled back and maybe it started to turn back around and maybe move back up towards that original level. But uh, let's see here. We'll pull that up right now. And I think it's uh, sort of just dancing right around the one deviation, trying to decide if it's going to break it or not. And uh, there we go. Pull that up on the chart for you. And you can see, I mean, it broke through all the way up to one and a half deviations before pulling bond back down to 0.7 and then moving back up to one. So just a big, you know, rocket flying move and uh, happened right there, you know, on the big announcements that came out this morning. You also had the China trade balance. Uh, they had a surplus on trade balance out of China. Not so much an event I trade, just, to, you know, something to be aware of. And then yesterday we also had a couple other things. I'm going to talk about that. We had the bank stress test come out and, um, you know, the interesting things on that. The test shows that um, basically 17 of the 18 banks are uh, weathering the really bad swamp. That's the you know the big headline on Bloomberg. And uh, but the summary results came on out. We'll go into that a little bit more later in the show. Looking on over at this morning. So uh, a few reports came out. Big one is we had this was Frank. So let's check that one out. That was an early morning trade. And uh, one of the news trades I was checking out go right over here. And um, trade did absolutely awesome. Let's see. Let's pull that on up. And I can get rid of that little message for us. All right. So right there, um, give it a second to you know populate. Um, we can see, you know, last night we had a you know a decent little move, not a massive move. Everybody was waiting on these big reports in the morning, but um, we'll go ahead and wrap up. We'll talk about how to take advantage of these big moves um, right after this with completely defined risk. Stay right there. We'll be right back after this break. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the technical corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. All right, folks, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. So we had the U.S. Frank report come out. That report by itself wasn't just a massive move, but the U.S. Frank did move massive pretty much along with almost, you know, really everything else. And uh, we can see, you know, these... these very, very large moves. U.S. Frank actually went up all the way to a two deviation level. And so how could you have played this? How could you have taken advantage of it? Well, one way is if you would have went in um, early in the morning, you could have hopped in. You would have had a hard time on the trade because it really didn't move that far on the news from the U.S. Frank. But uh, we did have a couple other trades that you could have still done on the trade and, you know, done quite well with the foreign currency reserves. Usually that's not the biggest mover just because it's not a... It's not a reported number for people to miss. It's reported, but there's not a forecast on it. It's hard to trade non-forecasted um, numbers. But anyway, so that came out, and you know you didn't see a whole lot of movement, but it was ready to move. And a lot of times when you have these big announcements, like when you have interest rate announcements, when you have non-farm payroll in the U.S., unemployment specialists is so tied right now um, to you know the quantitative easing being pulled back, when you have things like that happening, almost all the other news announcements before just get stunted. And so looking at that right there, you know, just knowing that we have, you know, all these reports that are going to come out, we go, okay, how can we take advantage of that? Like last night we had foreign currency reserves, but it got a little bit stunted. Tonight we had CPI. Um, that's what came out Friday morning, I guess, not tonight, this morning at uh, 3.15. Got a little bit stunted because everybody was waiting to see, you know, what's going on with unemployment rate. And it dropped. And, you know, Bernanke said, hey, I'm not even going to look at backing off at unemployment until it hits 6.5. Well, 
Well, we just hit 7.7. So we just dropped down from 7.9. Now, whether or not that's the real number or whatever, that's a easily uh, disputed thing and probably, you know, completely accurate that it's not. But that's still the number that they're looking at. That's the number they're reporting on. That's the number they're basing the decision on. So it's sort of weird, but unemployment being good is good and bad uh, because <laughs> the country is so addicted to QE from the Fed that, it, uh, you know, it's one of those good and bad things. So it was sort of like um, if you see unemployment go up, well, that's bad. But it's also good because that means more continued quantitative easing. It's very, you know, odd and confusing and a paradox. But in the end, the Fed seemed to win. So, uh, but if we go over here and look at the uh, U.S. franc and see where, you know, right on this announcement, I mean, just took off when the numbers came out. And, I mean, it hit one deviation and, you know, less than, I think, one minute, two minutes. And uh, it moved on up and, you know, basically broke one and a half. And then, actually, it came up right up to two deviations before pulling on back. And see how those levels at each one of them, and, you know, because a lot of times we'll go in and we'll get 10-minute charts. And we'll use those to help us, you know, find our stops. And uh, so if you're doing that today, let's say you're just trading, and we'll go through several of these pairs. Because this is just a very, I think, a great example for us to take advantage of this today. You know, it takes off. So, obviously, you can't really tighten a stop there. But then it goes up and it breaks this level. So now you can tighten this stop right here. And uh, with that stop on there, you can go on and you can look. And go, okay, well, what do we got stopped out yet? You know, if we put it, we always talk about putting it a couple ticks below. So the lowest point nine five one zero. And uh, with bid ask spread, you want to figure out your bid ask spread. So let's look at the low point nine five zero nine. So we're still not out of the U.S. franc trade. We're still in that trade based on just using the deviations with just a couple ticks below. And, um, you know, there's a lot of ways to look at it. You could use Take Your Swim. You could use your DOM over in TOS or, you know, Trade Station. Um, I like to use Ninja Trader. But uh, we could go over here and let's say we want to look at what is the bid ask spread to know how far we need to give on that stop. So I put one tick below plus bid ask spread. And so if I go in here... And we'll just pull up, you know, say USD franc. And you can see basically it has about a two pip wide bid ask spread. So it actually be one tick plus the bid ask spread, so three ticks. So if we go in there, we put it three ticks below. And that gives us just a little bit more room right there. And uh, so we're still in this trade. And um, one of the rules we use, and this is a, you know, so right there we're still in this trade at this point. Now I guess I should probably draw it right here. Now, one of the rules is when the bar, the 10 minute bar closes above the deviation level, then you move it. But if it closes below it, like see this bar right here, this bar, these three bars here, all close below uh, the deviation level. So since they did, let me move these alert bars out of the way. Um, then what you can do is go, okay, well now if it closes above it again, I can tighten my stop again. So we're going, we're waiting. Okay, now we have it tightened again. So now we're going to move it, you know, three ticks below this. So we go and we look at the price to get the detail. And on that one, we have a low of 0.9514. So now we're looking at basically 0.9511 as our stop right up here. It ticks forward, ticks forward, comes up there. May have taken it off of two deviations. If not, you closed it out right here. You get a great, great, massively profitable trade. All right, stay right there. We'll be right back after this break. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Just recently, on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF, on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insight subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And uh, so that wrapped it up for us for the U.S. Frank, let's check out some of the other markets and uh, what's been happening on it. Um, I was looking at a few different things this morning. One of the number one pairs I was focusing on was the USD CAD. Well, why? Well, uh, we had a lot of reports coming out on the USD CAD this morning. It was a pretty easy one to identify. At 8.30, we had employment change, unemployment rate, and labor productivity coming out on the Canadian dollar. And we also had non-farm employment change, unemployment rate, and average hourly earnings coming out of the U.S. So you have two currency pairs with... Uh, two high impact reports and one medium impact report each all happening at the exact same time. So that usually makes for a pretty easy trade. And uh, so the USD CAD right there, you can see it opened on up right there. Let's see, we got an announcement at 730. And so right here, um, you know, 830, 730, depending upon, you know, what time zone you're looking at there, 830 Eastern time. And, um, and then we go in, and you can see this massive move straight on down here to a 0.7 deviations. I mean, pretty much to the tick. So we go to the low here. We got 1.0233. It is to the tick, 1.0233. And uh, so you can see how much that helps you when you're trading. You're looking for those levels. And um, I like to go in, and a lot of times I'll take – now, if I'm doing a straddle or a strangle, now, if I'm just going directional, okay, to, to you know, stay with the same theme on the directional piece – I'm looking for a bar that closes below it. Well, obviously, this bar closed below it. 
But then notice how this bar closed above it. And then eventually this bar right here closes below it. Let me uh, refresh that off the screen. There we go. And so you'll see that right here, this bar closes below it and that becomes my stop. And of course it gets hit just, uh, you know, about 40 minutes later to be out. So if you're doing directional trading, that'd be a way to let you know, because I mean, who knows, maybe it's going to be one of those two or three deviation days. But for news trades, I'm really going for a one to one. Okay. I'm looking to, you know, risk, you know, 10 or $20 on each side of the trade and uh, be able to, you know, ideally make really uh, 10 to $15 on each side of the trade and be able to make, you know, 20, 30, you know, dollars total on the trade. So if I can go and I can risk 10 bucks on the long side and 10 bucks on the short side, and I can net a 20 or $30 profit, I'm making a hundred percent return. And so what I do is I try to find close to, you know, 0.5 or 0.7 or one deviation levels, trades that I can do, maybe that expire at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. or, you know, 3 p.m. Um, for, you know, early morning announcements like this that I can take advantage of and get into. And even if they expire really quick, like at, you know, 9 o'clock, that's fine because I'm expecting a big, fast move on high when there's a lot of high impact reports. And when it hits the deviation level, I can know one thing for sure. And this is the edge in binaries, is that when the underlying market, so when the U.S. dollar Canadian is at the same strike as the binary on Nadex, the binary will be worth $50. Why? Well, whatever price the market's at right now, there's basically a 50-50 chance it'll be above or below that price, you know, in the next, you know, few minutes, in the next few hours in the next few days in the next few weeks in the next few years so knowing that i'm like yeah, wow i can buy that thing back for 50 bucks now you have to add in the reality of the market okay it's 50 50 but you got bid ask spread you gotta take care of market makers you know and uh, you do like those i mean we hate those guys but we like those guys because at the end of the day they make sure we have some liquidity so they are our friends in that sense and uh so you know they got to get paid so you got the bid ask spread that you're gonna have to pay so that puts us uh you know say 53 by 47 at you know a few pips on each side and um, you know three pips up say two or three pips down and then I also want to account for I want to give myself like a three to four tick you know variance meaning uh, maybe it only it, I mean this one hit perfectly to the I mean literally to the pip on the deviation level but what if it comes within like you know one two three four ticks of it and then turns around and goes back well I don't want to not build to you know my strike level what if uh, you know I don't want to lose on the trade simply because that happened. And so what I can do is I can go in and I can just take it off and give myself four ticks. So instead of, you know, 50, we have to add in bid spread. Now we got 5347. Add four ticks to both sides. You get 43 by 57. So if I sell it, I buy it back. So if I sell it for $10, I buy it, or sorry, 90. If I sell it for $90, I buy it back at 57. If I buy it for 10, I sell it at 43. Well, that gives me a $33 profit on one side. I lost, say, 10 bucks on the other side. And um, so, you know, I net out a $23 profit on the trade. And I, you know, if I risk $10 on each side, I put on 10 bucks in, you know, 20 bucks total in risk. I netted 23 bucks. That's a 100% return on my money. And in this case, in like a minute. So <laughs> pretty, pretty fast there. Um, also, you know, we had gold. Gold was just a big, big mover. And um, had some insane moves. And uh, it dropped down, I mean, it's right down to one and a half deviations. Now, remember, if you're in these trades and if for whatever reason you're deciding to, you know, ride the trend, you can use the bar that closes below the deviation. So right there, it closes below the deviation. This one's very close. It closed it at 1563.2, but that's a... Uh, I mean, that's on. It's not below. I prefer below. On, I will often move just to, you know, safety, especially when you get a move like that, I'll move it because it closed on the level. But then this one definitely closed above it. So we got 15, uh, 60, what, 5.3. And uh, so, you know, we're going like right there, putting all that together. But then this one right here closes obviously clearly below it. That's where you tighten your stop. If it starts coming back up when it hits it right here, okay, right at this level right here, then that's where I'm going to get out. Remember, I add, okay, the bid-ass spread, so a couple ticks of the underlying market to the high. So this bar knocks me out, flies back the other direction. 
Well, here is the awesome thing, all right? You're trading spreads, especially spreads, possibly even the binaries. Um, when they fly down like that and fly back up, well, you could take profit on one side, but the other side, you might be able to get out at a break even, or you might even be able to take some profit on it, and that really exponentially increases your profits. You can end up making 150% or 200% or 300% on the same trade simply because it flies in the other direction. And so you don't have a loss on either side to account for. So it gets a lot bigger. You know, if you risk 20, but then all of a sudden your risk went down to 10 because you got out of the other one at break even. Now you made 33. Now you're at a 300% return. So well, what if you made money on the other side? What if you ended up making, you know, 33 bucks on this side? And then you make 66 bucks. I mean, that's, you know, that's an insanely huge return on your trade. And that because you removed all your risk in the process. So, I mean, you could, like I said, one, two, 300% trades and uh, do them over and over and again. Do some of them lose? Yeah, of course they lose. But, uh, you know, they don't ever lose more than what you put up. You can never get slammed by a news report again. So if I go in and I put up $100 risk, that's all that can happen. So the market could go all the way down. I could have bought, flies back up. I could still be profitable on the trade. I could still get out potentially a break even on that trade. Okay? And uh, that's what I love about, I mean, if you're a long gold right here, I mean, you got hurt. Straight up. You just, I mean, you got slammed because there's no way it filled all your orders. I mean, it just got down. I mean, it just flew. And so, you know, you didn't have time to respond. And, um, you know, how far, you know, I mean, that's a 10-minute chart. We go down to the one minute. It still, it flew fast. And let's go back and look at it. Let's see how fast this moved. And this is, you know, why I love trading Nadex, and this is why I'll trade it. Look at that move right there. I mean, that that's one minute. So, and, uh, I mean, most of that, you know, minute is actually right here. <laughs> so this is, this is you know, a few seconds, and this is, like, the last little part of the minute. So right here at the bottom. And, I mean, it just flew. And you don't have to worry about it. You, if you were long on this trade, you're all right. You know, I mean, not that you're great, not that you're happy that it flew down. But, you know, you didn't have a stop hit. It didn't get ran against you. You don't have to worry about, you know, the consequences of that and, you know, what it could do to your account. And you don't have to worry about a margin call ever. Margin calls don't exist on Nadex because you fully collateralize your risk up front. And like I said, you don't get stopped out. So if it moves all the way down, and I mean, like I said, when we talk about all the way down, let's look at what all the way down means. That's that's 18 points down, okay? If it moves 18 points against you, you could still be in the trade. Your risk is not any higher. You don't have to put on more capital to place another trade. It turns around and goes back. You got to trade it anywhere close to break even. You want to be ecstatic. So, because anybody portrayed in the gold future contract, you know, they got it handed to them. And, um, you know, if we look at this, I mean, how the deviations worked. And like I said, a lot of times you'll use deviations. I actually was out here, I was, I chose this deviation level right here. I actually was looking at a one and a half deviation just because I expected gold to have a massive move because the Fed has tied unemployment to QE. So, high impact on it. We have a low right there, 1566.1. And at 1566, it was like 0.2. Well, I'm sorry, 1560.4. So we went to 1560.2. Um, so we got two ticks off of the deviation level. Remember I said give it a four tick variance, right? So we got two ticks off the deviation level. I mean, it called it money shot right there. came down, would have filled you at 57. I got out right around 60. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, basically because it came down, I didn't have, I didn't wasn't out yet. It came back up, came back down. I hopped out of the trade. And, uh, you know, it's just... It's fun, they're quick, they're easy, and uh, to me, it's one of the best ways to trade, period, because you know what to trade, you know when it's going to happen, and with the deviation levels, you know how far it's going to move, and with Nadex, you know what your risk is, and therefore, you can have a realistic profit goal by combining them with the deviation. So it's a pretty, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of fun, and you hear me talking about them all the time, and I get a lot of cool uh, reports about people saying how you know it's working out well for them, and they enjoy them, and um, like I said, just try it out. Hop on over on TFNN.com, grab a demo account. And if you need some education on how these whole binaries and spread things work, you want to see how to use these deviation levels, sign up for our free trial. You'll get access to deviation levels. You'll get access to all my tutorials on binaries, all my tutorials on spreads um, that we put up in the site. And you'll have access to ask me all the questions that you want. So, um, and one of the things I talk to people, they're like, well, I don't know. That's a distraction. I'm used to trading futures. or I'm used to trading. I'm a stock trader. I'm not a forex trader. You know what? You're a trader. A trader is a trader is a trader. Okay? <laughs> you are trading an instrument to buy lower and sell higher or sell high and buy back lower. That's it. I don't care what symbols on there. Is it an A, a B, a C, a D, an F, a G? I don't care 
what the symbol is. Period. I don't care how it quotes. I don't care if it quotes in pips or ticks or cents or whatever. I just want it to move. And I want something that can, you know, ideally make me money. One of the things I tell people all the time is a acronym is wait. Why am I trading? Am I trading to feel fuzzy about what I'm trading? Am I trading to make money? Well, or is what you're doing making money? If it is, awesome. Keep doing it. You know, or is it making as much as you want? Well, if it is, awesome. Keep doing it. But if it's not making you money, maybe you need to look at something else. If you're spending years trying to figure something out, it's not going anywhere. These are trades you can do tomorrow. Well, I guess not tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. But you can do Sunday. You can do Monday. All right? You can do them with no risk inside of a demo account. So, you know, expand out of your comfort zone. All right? So, again, expand outside of your comfort zone. Check it out. It is new, but it's not new in a bad way. It's new in a good way. The markets are new. The markets are insane. You got all these governments interfering with everything. You know, fundamentals are great, but hey, you know what? Most of us can't survive long enough for fundamentals to become realistic and uh, to become realized at the end of the day. And, you know, with all the quantitative easing with the Fed and with who knows what's going to come out of what politician's mouth and with budget crises and budget limits and debt ceilings and sequesters and, I mean, come on. You cannot trade the same way now as you traded five years ago. You have to account for the reality of the volatility caused by the global events that are taking place. And that's why I like Nadex because, you know what, if it's a flat market, I can trade. If it is a you know slow trending market, I can trade. If it is an insane volatility, you know, 1,800 point down and $2,400 move up day on a single contract, I can trade it. Because I don't even have to trade the gold contract. I can trade the gold Nadex contract the spread contract, which is just like trading the futures contract. So when it goes down, I sell and I buy back lower. Same concept. Defined risk, less money, higher leverage. So put the combination together. It starts to make a whole lot of sense for you. Um, now, let's check out a couple other things. Let's look at what we got going on. We had all that. The, uh, the, the, trust, uh, the stress test came on through. And um, 17 out of 18 banks apparently passed the test, and uh, Bernanke said, hey, they could survive a you know major financial crisis as long as it wasn't as big as the one from the Great Depression, but definitely the one like we just had. So taxpayers shouldn't be on the hook. And they went in and they said, okay, if this many loans defaulted on mortgages and this many loans defaulted on this, and uh, the one bank that didn't pass is like, hey, you know, your stuff's not realistic anyway. And somebody else came in and, and uh, basically put a reality and they said, you know what, this this isn't even tough enough. So this is way too easy. You're really trying to say we have some great massive issue and that all the banks are just going to be okay. And so uh, they're going, I mean, there's a whole lot of information about there. You can look into it. Um, you also had Italy. They got down downgraded um, to uh, BBB plus. So whatever all these letters mean, uh, basically that just means that they have uh, more of a negative outlook. And uh, they're usually late to the game by the time they do download them or downgrade them anyway. But uh, that is downloaded, and or down, I keep saying downloaded. That is downgraded, and uh, might as well be downloaded, right? But um, let's see here. Download the Euro USD. Let's check it out. We'll talk about it when we get back from this break. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position at Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program. The Tiger Technicians Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar, bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And um, like I said, we got that Euro dollar making a nice move on down, solid move down. And uh, we got our stop method. Remember, that's the 10-minute stop method right here. So we uh, checked this out. We had a low of 1.2997. That is below. So we do tighten our stops. And uh, so we tighten the stop at the high of this bar. We're still in on the Euro dollar. And uh, because that puts our stop level right at a couple ticks above, right? So, you know, your dollar's going to have one tick bid-ass spread. One, so we have one tick plus the bid-ass spread. We got two ticks right above that. And uh, as you can see, we're still in that euro dollar short trade. Now, one thing that's really important, I, uh, you know, saw this pop up on a screen here, and I think it's uh, just a, a good lesson to go over real quick. So you go over, and you're pulling up in your platform. It'll say, you know, you could be looking at, obviously, the S&P on March, or you could be looking at the S&P on June, right? And, you know, most brokers will send out a statement saying, hey, uh, be aware that today is rollover day. And so you can go in here to CME Group. You can go over to the Globex. You can check out the equity indexes. And then we'll scroll down real quick, and we'll look at the S&P 500. And we'll see the March and the June contracts. You'll notice that volume is definitely shifting to June, because today is rollover day. Actually, I guess yesterday technically was rollover day for June. So everything rolled over. Now, if you're trading futures, you're going to want to follow the volume. Okay, you want to be in that active month contract. If you're trading Nadex, all right, what you need to do is make sure 
There's a big mistake people make. Make sure that you're following the contract they're following. So if we go over here and look at the contracts, we're going to see that they are following March. I'll zoom in on that for you real quick so you can see uh, what I'm talking about there. And um, but you'll notice they're following the March contract. Why are they following March for things? Rolled over to June. Well, the reason is they have weekly contracts. And they can't have their weekly contract where you're saying, you know, it's going to be above this or below this at this date and time, and then they switch the contract on you in the middle of the week. That would obviously would not be fair or good for anybody. So what they do is they roll over on Sunday. So on Sunday, they'll flip over and they'll be on June. And as soon as you log into your Natus account on Sunday or Monday, it'll say, effective this date, we have rolled over to the June contracts for you know, US 500 for the US Tech 100 for the small cap 2000 for the Wall Street 30. And that's when in your charts, you're going to go and you're going to want to, you know, take out the March contracts and then put in the June contracts. Like, let's say if you're looking over at NinjaTrader or you know, whatever platform it is that you prefer to use, um, then you instead of looking at, you know, the June, you'll want to look at March and uh, now and then come you know sunday then you'll go in and you'll flip over and you'll want to be looking at the next month's contracts you'll be looking at june and inside of our members area we actually keep track of both for you because i know we got future traders using them we got forex traders using them and so right in here where we have the deviation levels we actually follow both of them if you scroll down a little bit then you can see that um right there we are following the March and the June contracts. We're following front month and back month contracts constantly for you. So that way you have, you know, the, whatever information it is you need. So if you're a futures trader and you're already on June, then you can use the June deviation levels. But if you're a Nadex trader, you could use the March deviation levels. And something else we do to help you out is if you highlight over the contract, it'll actually tell you what the current month is. So you'll notice right there it says ES03-13. And um, if you're, say, using, you know, Thinkorswim or, you know, a platform that uses letters, ESH3, so H for March. And then if you're using, say, NinjaTrader, then we actually give you the format ES, again, 03-13, ES space 03-13. So that way you know which one to follow anyway, but it's always right there in the Nadex platform for you. You don't have to guess it. You don't have to search for it. It's right in front of you. Just make sure you are looking at the right contract when you're making your trading decisions. All right. Well, I hope you all have a great day, a great weekend. I will see you Monday, and uh, make sure to register for that event coming up next week. Look forward to seeing you there. Stay tuned. We have another great show coming up for you right after this. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability, because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.